Hello everyone, welcome back to the Art Playground. Today I thought I would work in my A5, A5 sized uh, Stillman and Burn journal and I wanted to um, create a damask background using Paper Artsy Paints, a new Paper Artsy stencil or stamp designed by myself and Wow Embossing Powders. We are ready. We are ready. Okay, so this is a Stillman and Burn Beta journal in A5 size. This is my little to-go packet with paints and pens and watercolor paints as well. So this is some work that I've done already using the new stencils and then some just sketching by myself and some watercolor paints, some glitter pens, and some wow embossing powders. That's one of my new stencils. So is that one, and that's a stamp. Today I'm going to pull this out so I have a nice flat surface to work on and move this to the side. So yeah, my little E5. It comes with a dark blue cover, Stillman and Burn. And I am going to coat the whole background with eggplant first. Then I am going to use this stamp set, which is ENB03. And I'm going to use this damask stamp right here, which is this one. And we get that all glitzed up with the embossing powders and such. I'm going to go back in with another stamp set, which is ENB02, and use the ghosts. And I might add in a few skulls as well for our October, October page. So I'm going to go ahead and paint up the background here first. Grab my paint rag. Okay, so I've done two coats of the eggplant. It looks a little blue on the screen, but it does have a bit more of a purple hue in person. So now I'm going to grab my damask piece. Again, that was the ENB03. My stamping board. Let's use a little block. Oh, I need a piece of paper. Piece of paper. We need our catch all for the embossing powder. So I'm going to start here because I know about the spine and it's going to be hard to stamp over the edge. But if I start here, then I can go along this way. Make sure it's pushed down really well. It's a great stamp. I think it's great. I'm biased, but it has a bat in it. It has some a skull, a pumpkin, and hearts. It's just, I love it. It makes me so happy. Okay, so I'm going to emboss that and then we'll do the other section. This is a new embossing powder, which will be released October 25th. So you're getting a little sneak peek. Luxurious chocolate. Oh, 
Oh, it was so cool. I wish it would focus properly for you. I'm gonna finish the other side. That is just so pretty. Isn't that pretty? Oh, that can be like the background of a card or anything. Oh my gosh. It's so rich. It's so rich. I don't even know if I want to do anything on top of it. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so cool. Okay. I already did some of the, I already stamped and cut out some of the skulls. This one. So ENB02. So I have some of the ghosts stamped out that I thought they would be cool to emboss. You'd even do the glow in the dark embossing powder, but I've, I've grabbed the ice cream. That'd be a neat to have sparkling ones. And then I don't know if we want to add any skulls or not. So let's I'm gonna grab my embossing pen. I'll emboss them before we cut them out. What I'm not going to do his eyes, I'm just doing all the white area inside of him. If you wanted to, this is great if you wanted to go in and do some shading first on different areas of your ghost before you emboss him. But <laughs> I'm just going <coughs> to put on the one. I'm going to go ahead and do the embossing. I think because there's already so much visual texture on the background and then I might do the glow in the dark on his eyes so I'm not going to worry about their little shadows that are under them today I'm just going to worry about getting our little ghosts This is a big piece of Bristol, smooth Bristol, which is what I stamped these out on as well. I think I'm going to make a big ghost to go with them. There we go. Oh, we got a mama wolf ghost and two little, two little bubbas, baby ghosts. Or she can have a, a gaggle of ghosts. The first day of Boole. Trying to think of something whimsical. Whimsical. When you're talking whimsy, wobbles are great too. So, either the mama or if she's a school teacher, which she is, daycare worker, I don't know. She's gonna get a big wobble. balances on her best. So, it's kind of like where her mouth is. I'm 
I'm not going to press her down yet. I just want to see positioning. I think that's good. She's up on all sides. So now I'll push it down. And she wobbles. <gasps> Wobbling ghosts. <laughs> Maybe I don't need a sign. Maybe I just need wobbles. This one's too big. Might be too big. What's that, dude? Oh, do they make smaller wobbles? I don't know. I don't know if I will do a sign. I just kind of like the wobbles all on their own. With the ghosts. Each viewer can interpret it the way they so desire, the way they wish. So it's like the teacher's pet one is hovering around the teacher. It does not want to show you sparkles. Can you see sparkles now? Trust me, they're sparkly. I promise you. That's so crazy. Turn off this light. Oh, you can see it a bit. Guys, it's sparkly. It is sparkly. It is. <laughs> it's not going to show you no matter what I do. We got sparkly ghosts, I promise. I promise they're sparkly. Oh, that background? Come on. <laughs> You guys are going to want this powder. Luxurious Chocolate WL66X. I love it. I wish you could see the sparkles. Trust me, they're sparkles. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for spending time with me. Have fun. Go do your minimum 15 minute kitchen dance and crank your favorite tunes and groove and have some fun. And if you like this video, please like it and share it with your friends. And don't forget that I have a code down in the description where I can save you 10% on any WOW products you buy from their online stores. So I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye for now. See you soon. Bye, guys.